Yeah, good day, guys. Uh, I'll be talking about Nassau Mietus and the structures that are open in them. Okay. So the question is, tablet the Nassau Mietuses and the structures that are actually open in them. Okay, so this would be a very logical class and I urge you guys to follow me all along. So, um, you see from this picture, you could see uh, middle meters, you could see inferior meters, you could talk, to, you see the superior meters, okay? And on this side, you see the structures that are open in them, okay? So don't worry, we'll come back to it. So basically, guys, um, in the nose, we have the the superior contour, inferior, uh, superior contour, medial contour, inferior contour. Okay. So now between these contours, we have areas called the two binits. Okay. So on the basis of this, inferior two binits, you know that it is located between the what, the last contour and the floor of the nasal cavity. The middle two binit is between the what, inferior contour and the middle contour. Then the superior two binit is between the what, middle contour and the superior contour. Okay. So now. The spaces between this turbinate is called the meatosis. Okay, so this is where the meatosis actually are located. Okay, now what are the structures that are actually open in the meatosis? All right, is what we'll be talking about, which drags us to this page, which is the most important page in this lecture. So now, openings in the nasal cavity. The nose plays a crucial role in draining various structures. So as a result, several openings open in the nasal cavity, all right? So the paranasal sinuses, we have the frontal, maxillary, and anterior edmoidal sinuses, and they open in the middle meatus, right? So the middle meatus have a large range of openings, okay? We have the frontal, maxillary, and anterior edmoidal sinuses, okay? So the semilunar hiatus, which is a crescent-shaped groove on the lateral walls of the nasal cavity, marks the locations of these openings, okay? Then next, we have the nasolacrimal gland, nasolacrimal ducts, and the nasolacrimal duct actually drains tears from the eye, and it opens into the inferior meatus. That's why sometimes when you are crying, you tend to actually have watery catar, okay? It's because of this draining, okay? So the nasolacrimal duct, let me see here. Nasolacrimal duct opens in the middle, what? Opens in the middle, opens in the inferior meatus, all right? That's the last meatus, okay? Then we have the eustachian tube also opens in the inferior meatus, okay? So it opens into the nasopharynx at the level of the inferior meatus, okay? And this allows, it actually balances uh, the air pressure between the ear and the nose, okay, which is very, very important. And how about posterior ethmoidal air sinus? Posterior ethmoidal air sinus, this is the posterior ethmoidal air sinus, and this opens in the word superior meatus, all right? Posterior ethmoidal air sinus. Posterior ethmoidal air sinus opens in the superior meatus, okay? So, um, well, this is just it, okay? All right, so you guys just focus on this page, all right? The um, middle meatus had the most, which is the frontal, maxillary, and anterior ethmoidal sinuses, okay? They open in the middle meatus, okay? Nasolacrimal gland is inferior meatus, auditory, tube is inferior meatus, then posterior ethmoidal air sinus is in the superior meatus, okay? And I'll show you guys everything on these pictures, okay? So that's it. If you don't understand, kindly play this video again, and I know you will understand. Okay, so that's it, and bye for now.